Good morning, Facebook. Give me a second to post this. Um, so we're kind of like at a break in the storm right now where we should be resting up um, because we have a new moon coming the 27th and I'm really sensitive to energy so these kind of events really affect me. So I'm kind of resting and replenishing my energy right now. Hang on one sec. So we have lots going on as usual. It's never anything different, right? <laughs> lots of news every day. Um, just every day. Alright, so we have um, a lot of... Go ahead and comment your name now too if you're going to want a card. Um, and be patient with me because I get a lot of viewers on here so I get a lot of comments and they go crazy sometimes. So be patient. But in Peru, um, we have floods with no ending. Mudslides and flash floods have killed at least 72 and the death toll is still rising. Um, it's leaving thousands homeless. Half of the country has been declared a state of emergency at this point. Um, in Iran, we had a huge mystery sea wave which killed one and left five missing. This was reported as a Tsami, but it actually was a huge sea wave. A group of teenagers in Oregon um, are suing the government over climate change. They are asking for ExxonMobil to hand over their emails. The lawsuit intends to probe the government along with Exxon and says they've been lying to the public regarding climate change. Exxon misled the public with climate change and misled officials about it as well. The teenager's case seeks to prove that government officials and oil industry leaders knew about the causes and effects of climate change and nevertheless carried on with policies that perpetuated it. This violates Americans' constitutional rights to live in a habitable, habitable climate. I know, right? Um, and it really does. It really, really does. When we have public officials lying to us and then kind of exasperating these problems, it kind of does. I'm just asking for basic rights like clean air, water, and food. It's not really hard. Um, we had two volcano volcanoes erupt in Nicaragua and um, they registered a dense gas eruption. I've seen gas eruptions happening in other places as well. Um, remember March is supposed to be crazy for um, policy leaders not getting along and extreme weather. So we kind of saw the start of it at the beginning of the month and now we're at a nice calm in the storm and things are gonna pick up intensity like next week. Um, uh, tur in Turkey we had a mass die off with thousands of birds dying. I mean this looked catastrophic. Um, bees are declining. Bees are pollinators, so we can't grow food without bees. The bumblebee made the endangered species list. This is upsetting the agriculture business because the pesticides are one of the leading reasons that they're on the endangered species list. So I'm hoping that if we can get the bees on the endangered species list, which they just did, that they'll have to change laws regarding like round off and pesticides. So that's my hope um, that maybe it will start to change things. I don't know how many more animals have to make the endangered species list and how much more crazy our environment has to get before people start to take action. Um, today is World Water Day. I just put a post about that on my page, right? Happy World Water Day. I love these holidays. I'm like the anti-holiday girl. So it doesn't matter what holiday it is. I'll always be here to tear it down for you guys. So it's World Water Day. Nearly 27 million people do not have access to clean water. 12% of the world population lacks water. I really believe these statistics are just grossly underestimated too. And that if we could see these real statistics, I know for a fact that if you live in the United States, all of your water is contaminated. Um, it's being pumped full of antidepressants. It depends on what city per cocktail, but all of your water is being contaminated. We really have very little um, drinking water left. An Alabama church is in the process of establishing its own police department and is passing a bill to achieve this. It states it needs this police force to combat, combat any danger. We're seeing just litigation nightmares everywhere where the courts are being used. Um, I don't know, I have a litigation suit right now against a company that knowingly gave me cancer with their product and it isn't going great. All that they do is they can do whatever they want and they use the courts to not pay people and navigate their way out of what they're doing and it's really sick. Um, in high places too, we're just seeing any of these systems, they're just ridiculous and no longer serving people at this point. It's really, really horrible. 
Um, when you get to the point where you're okay with harming people, you're okay with harming other countries, whatever it is, it really gets to like a point where when, when is enough with all this stuff? What has to happen to wake everyone up? Like what really has to happen? Do we really have to go to World War Three? I don't think so. Like why? Why Why won't people just wake up and change? It's not hard. Um, we're spiritual beings and we're living on a spiritual being as well. Earth is a living entity and we have to treat it in such a way. Um, we have some more high vibe news in Argentina we had three large crop circles they just appeared in an air for field there and this definitely was an extraterrestrial phenomenon they have summoned experts from the UFO study commission of the Argentine Republic and they have not ruled out an alien element um, amazing uh, I had it described to me like this that these crop circles um, we might not know what the symbols mean but they do something to our subconscious it's actually almost like they're giving earth acupuncture but at the same time when we view these symbols they do something to our subconscious that's why symbolism um, is such a huge thing nowadays a bill is being passed to allow DNA tests um, for work sorry I'm seeing some kind of debacle going on <laughs> Um, a bill is being passed to allow DNA tests for work health insurance so that insurance companies can, can charge you more than, or clone you. Your genetic profile can show if you're genetically predisposed to diseases, but really companies could use this information for whatever they wanted, such as cloning. There are many misuses that would be possible. This is really dangerous. When we start requiring DNA tests for health insurance, things are kind of moving in a scary direction. Um, because all of your genetic information is actually stored in your DNA. I guess it makes it easier than the government having to abduct humans to get their DNA though. If we just start handing it over, they can just start cloning people that way. So I kind of get it, um, but I wouldn't, uh, I would definitely be against handing over your fingerprints or your DNA for anything. Um, I saw this being done at a hospital near where I live where they're collecting biometrics such as fingerprints and uh, retina scans and stuff. And they were like, oh, do you want to do you want to sign up for our new biometrics program? I was looking at the brochure and I'm like, no, 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 I'm good. I'm really good. Um, I just wouldn't be handing over your genetic material unless you really want to be cloned or something. I just wouldn't be willingly handing it over so easily. I'm seeing many of our liberties being stomped on. Um, and we get to a dangerous place. We all know that Noah's flood or the flood that pole shifted our whole planet. Um, was caused by the Anunnaki mutating our DNA and playing with DNA and creating new races by merging their DNA with humans. So um, when we get to a point where we start cloning and experimenting with genetics and stuff, um, we're really at risk of wiping out the whole planet and starting from scratch. The U.S. Department of Security is now banning electronics on planes um, from any of the eight countries listed on the ban list. I'm going to do cards now. Um, I had like three people ask me if I was okay yesterday. I'm great. <laughs> I'm great. I'm high vibe. Um, I'm just hanging out with my twin flame in higher dimensions most of the time. Um, we're doing our mission and I feel amazing with it. So I'm doing great. Um, I, I see there's a lot of kind of like high school drama going on. It will sort itself out. Just ignore it. Vibe too high for that stuff. I'm planning on vibrating too high for any kind of negativity. So it will cease to exist soon. So just vibrate higher, higher. <laughs> we must vibrate higher. I'm great. I'm living in love every day, um, making my dreams come true. Um, I know you guys mainly see me in the news context, but this is um, something that we're doing 24-7. It's not something that I just do for videos or for fun. This is our life, and we're just doing amazing things, um, me and my twin flame together. And then um, <laughs> someone, someone was like, I forget. I don't. I don't have to be careful of my words. But someone was like um, saying, seeing me and my twin flame is separate, still. And me and my twin flame were laughing about it last night because we're a unit. We are no longer separate entities. We've merged into one unit. So it's really funny to us. Um, someone said, "Oh no, you're almost one, but you're not one because we're completely one with each other at this point. So we're merged back into a unit, and that's the goal." Um, we have to learn how to play well with others and get along with people. It doesn't mean that you have to um, allow toxic people in your life, but we have to work on our personal relationships with everyone, our friendships, whatever. So just work on your relationships with everyone. Work on getting rid of toxic people. Um, and this energy is about to get really intense. So um, not everyone is going to ascend with you. 
I've come to that realization a long time ago. I know a lot of people teach everyone's going to ascend. No, some people are choosing not to wake up. I chose to wake up according to my twin flame. I'm not really sure how I did that, right? But he says, I chose that. Um, a lot of people are choosing to sleep. So we have to respect that. And just hang out with people that make you vibe high and make you laugh and have fun. My comments are going crazy. Paula Garcidi, Garcidi, conflict and defeat. Hand it over to God. Um, the theme for this month is surrender, literally. I had a plan for my life, right? I was going to do this and this and this, kind of like maybe one of my past lives. I had it all planned out since I was nine, right? I had all these fabulous plans. None of them panned out um, because I was meant to do greater things. So when you can hand over what you want to do and kind of swap it out and be part of a divine plan, it's amazing. Um, so we have to uh, be service of others in some way. In some way. Just whatever way that is for you, find a way to be service of others. Um, and to get there, just really hand it over to God. Um, because you're part of a divine plan. You've always been divinely protected, whether you realize it or not. I have nothing but excitement when I wake up and gratitude every day. Um, and I'm just so proud of how far me and my twin flame have come in such a short amount of time together. It's uh, kind of miraculous to watch. It's miraculous um, to be doing this kind of healing and to be seeing these kind of things being done. It's really miraculous. So stay pure at heart and the universe will show you miracles. My thing is skipping everywhere, so I'm just going to do them out of order. Jesse Wald Waldevagal. Yes, forced. We are never forced. We have free will. I say that's kind of an illusion. My flame gets so mad when I say that. It's kind of an illusion because we plan out our whole life before we come here. So I know there are th things that we can choose. And he says, no, you choose everything. And I get it. But to me, it's like we orchestrated our whole lives anyway. So there's certain things um, in contracts that keep us. So work on really um, not waiting for someone to come fix your life. You have to do that yourself. We have to take back our power. And we have to come to the realization that everything that sucked in our life, we created. Anything that was good, we created too. So we just have to stay positive and we can manifest really a better future for ourselves. So work on staying positive. Work at changing your mindset. I'm working on getting rid of all this reptilian fear-based uh, programs. And I had a real bad where we live. So, so I'm working on dismantling these reptilian um, fear-based programs where you're always going to be sick, in fear, never have any money, you're always screwed, whatever. Those kind of lower systems. I'm dismantling them. We're tearing them apart. And we are working on um, reprogramming ourselves in love and abundance. And we're doing it. It's just kind of slow work. So stay patient. Sharday Davis. Authority. Yes, I just went into this. We do not like authority because on a deep level, you know that I'm not above you. I'm equal to you. And we might be at different places um, with our soul evolution, but we're equal. We don't need these people telling us what to do. And most of our authority is very unevolved and shouldn't even be in a place of authority. That's why they're there. <laughs> so they're learning tough lessons, too. They're very unevolved. They should not. They have no business running the world at all. They're not very evolved souls. So we don't like this authority. Um, I'm not limited in that. But I was channeling this morning about polarity because I'm working a fine line with it. I, I'm going through major shifts um, in my own life with the people around me and all sorts of stuff. So um, I'm trying, I'm doing this dance with polarity and I'm trying to dismantle it <laughs> because polarity is what keeps us trapped here. So you want to, I had um, a wise friend of mine, Bronwyn Burns, told me to walk the middle ground. You don't want to be making that pendulum swing too crazy. So if you're too light and you're over here, it's going to make it all crazy. You want to walk kind of a middle ground. That's what I'm work, working on. Um, I find that there is great danger with um, the light workers that want to ignore any kind of negativity. I believe that if we bring it to the surface, we can get rid of it and heal it. And if we keep ignoring it, it's just going to keep on causing problems. So these kind of things really need to be brought out on the surface. Work on taking a deeper look at yourself and the programs that you're running on. And what's going on in your mind and what you're subconsciously thinking about. Because when we're kids, um, up until the age of three, we really are inheriting whatever programs our parents are running on. We inherit the same programs. And so we have those programs running in our minds subconsciously. We have to become conscious. We have to bring the subconscious to the conscious. And we have to just be more aware of it and change our thinking. Reeb Star G. I am ready. I'm ready all the time. Um, I'm recharged. I'm doing great. 
I'm ready to get to work. <laughs> work on your heart chakra. Perhaps you need a heart a chakra opening too. Um, work on your heart chakra. A lot of times it can be very difficult for um, to remove blocks ourselves um, because we might not even realize what these are from. They could be from our parents, past life stuff, whatever. So I highly recommend energy work to anyone who hasn't had it done before. Um, it can be pretty amazing. But in the meantime, work on letting go of past grief, past pain, um, just any kind of stuff like that, loss, grief. Work on letting it go. Um, we have to go through death of some kind here or physical loss. Um, of someone we love to open our heart chakra to unconditional love. It's just something we have to go through. So just be aware of that. Um, it's not meant to cause us this pain that will never go away. It's supposed to be temporary. But we get really lost here. But remember, this is like a training ground. This basically is a computer simulation that we live in. It's um, I think of it anyway in my world. Almost like a sophisticated Sims game. I really like um, Nikki Baba Lamb had a good analogy um, on our group where she said literally that we're like cells in a body. That's how I think of it too. I really feel sometimes like we're cells in God's body or whatever because the earth is a living entity as above so below. We're little cells. So you can either be service to others and helping for the good of all or you can be part of the problem and basically be cancerous if you're service of self and are negative in orientation. So I really like those analogies um, however you want to think of it I think of it like we're in a sophisticated video game though this is like a training simulation so that we can become better light become more of light if we didn't have darkness all around us how would we learn how would we learn to combat that so um I've been going through a lot I've been getting uh, attacked from the dark side again starting last week it's going away and uh, even my flame notices it and says what is going on? Because <laughs> um, there's a point where you have conquered your own darkness and maybe there just still exists other darkness in the world. Maybe it's not a reflection of you. Um, so we learn how to discern these things. We're just becoming smarter with it. Um, just be more, get out into nature more. We need to detox these toxins out. We need to connect more with earth in any regard. If you want to survive this pull shift, you're going to want to have the same vibration as the earth's. Nikki Baba, yes, spiritual union. Um, this is what you're really working towards. I know it sounds ludicrous at this point in time when I say this, but this is what you're working towards. You're working on healing yourself, you and your friends. You're working on healing yourselves, and you're going to get together with a spiritual union eventually. Um, so work on having that relationship with yourself first. Um, that's the most important because otherwise you can't come into balance with another person. It's so hard. It really is. Um, it's hard with all relationships. I don't think any are easy. I mean, sometimes it looks like it's easy all the time, but all relationships take work. Um, it doesn't matter what they are. Some are harder than others. Standard Peacock. Work on letting go of fear, your base chakra. Um, I get so annoyed, mainly because I, I have a lot of people say I'm spreading fear. No, I'm spreading the news and awareness. <laughs> I'm spreading love in, in, on a deep level. So get rid of fear. Um, I, I like to stay informed and aware of what's going on with my surroundings, just so I know what's going on. Um, literally, we just had Trump. Um, I don't know if you live in the U.S., but he just came back from a meeting with North Korea and said it went very bad, very badly. I forget the exact quotes, but they, there's big things going on behind the scenes. I like to stay informed um, so I know what's going on. They're talking about sh shooting down missiles in North Korea before they hit our country. I just want to be aware. I'm not spreading fear. I no longer fear anything because I know that I'm part of a divine plan and I'm divinely protected. But I want to be aware of this kind of stuff. I believe it expands our consciousness. I believe that if they're hiding the news from mainstream media then maybe there's reasons they don't want it to get out so I'm just trying to help in whatever regard it's just my mission but my mission is to abolish fear we have to have faith we can pick faith or fear love or fear we can't have both how can you be in love and be afraid it doesn't even make sense so we have to pick one um, and definitely pick to let go of fear because these fears aren't even real Tammy Austin, good morning. Foundation achievements. Um, I hope you're getting ready to make up with your love, your love already. I hope you miss him um, because I believe that you're meant to be healing each other. I've been meaning to catch up with you anyway. Um, you had to ask Sparks for the information on his Asha Waganda that he takes because um, I've channeled that that would be a good alternative to CBD. Um, it's for stress and anxiety. 
but it's very good for inflammation. So when you get a minute, um, ask Sparks. He's he was supposed to take a picture for you. He just didn't do it yet. Um, and just work on healing. Um, just, I know, I know it's so crazy because healing doesn't happen overnight. I need like another year to, um, to heal back to my original state. I need like another year. That's a really long time, right? Two years of healing, um, to get me back to my current, um, you know, healthiest state. That's a long time of healing. It doesn't happen overnight, but our bodies did not get these problems overnight either. It took many years for our bodies to break down and stop working properly. So just stay patient. Keep taking your vitamins. Work on your relationship, American dream, we call it. <laughs> Jennifer Kelsey, yes, it's very good. Um, so I'm, I'm having some debates because I have a bunch of people in other countries I'm working with that can't take CBD because I can only ship it in the U.S. So there are alternative, there are natural alternatives to anything. I'm trying to abolish big pharmacy companies. Like there are natural alternatives to anything. Um, and it might be, you can't get CBD. There's got to be other remedies. I'm just telling you, you might have to play around with trial and error, but that's what doctors do anyway with medications. You can completely re regenerate your whole body though and heal it completely. Um, this is a new beginning for you, literally. Um, just, and then I'm like, this is literally a new beginning, um, Jennifer. Literally, I'm like, scrolling down. I always memorize you guys by energies. This is a new beginning completely. Um, it looks like end times where I live, you know, there's trash everywhere, whatever. Um, but this is completely a new beginning. I'm choosing a new beginning. Um, I'm choosing that, that I know a lot of people don't like Trump and they want to say how he's destroying the world. I'm choosing that in my world that possibly he might do a good job. <laughs> but I'm at least choosing. At least I'm going to go out with open mind. I'm not going to close myself to these possibilities. I'm not going to choose to close myself that no, he's just going to destroy America and this is the end and this is it. This is not my reality. I'm choosing a different one. I'm choosing this is a new beginning and that there's hope for humanity. Definitely. It's a choice. Jen Lynn, good morning. Moving on. You're moving on from anyone and anything not serving you. You already know this. It's a perpetual state of becoming lighter. Um, so for me, that looks like some friends of mine last week. I'm moving on, but I feel lighter and I feel a lot better. And I'm just going to have faith that the universe is removing people from my life that aren't serving me. I'm not even doing it. The universe is just continually doing that for me. So just have faith um, and just... Um, pay attention more to your energy. Try to recharge this week. It's kind of like a calm in the storm. Amanda Brewer. It will be very busy for your healing work. Um, I don't know. I have to look at the calendar now. <laughs> it will start picking up. Let me look at the calendar. It will start, um, we go into a storm like Friday, Saturday-ish. So it will start picking up for you then. As soon as we go into this storm, everyone will need healed. Becky Ray, accelerated motion. I know, I feel like a hamster in the ball a lot of the time where um, now I'm nice and calm, but I'm about to get thrown around again when we go into this new storm. So I'm becoming really adept at um, kind of navigating through these energies. So try to rest, um, but things are just picking up intensity, picking up pace in your life. So stay grounded. Try to meditate. Stay grounded. So everything can be going crazy all around you, and you're just like, zen, om, like nice and calm. Try to stay grounded throughout it. Joy Jackson. Truth. You are here for truth. Um, truth and love are two of the keys you need to access higher dimensions. So you really need truth. Speak your truth. Um, I get attacked all the time. It's not a big deal. I just ignore it. Um, like, who cares? Who cares? I know. I'm getting attacked by unevolved people. I don't care. So just speak your truth. What's the worst that'll happen? Um, you're not going to get burned at the stake again. We've already all done this kind of where we were persecuted by our um, establishments in many lives, many of us. So I know that in past times there were real dangers in speaking your truth. I know. I've been there. But um, during this time, there's so many people that are awake, you really can speak your truth and just put the truth out there without, with very little, um, you shouldn't have any fear over it. So it's pretty amazing. So just speak your truth, get it out there. It will help someone in a deep way. Um, just, just being open. Sherry Louise, Louise, memories of love. 
let go of past nostalgia. Um, you're going to see a lot of memories come up. Yesterday I was processing memories again. Um, and just view them objectively and let them go. Um, any relationship that you've ever had in your life was you a different incarnation. So there's a lot of things at play here. We come here, we pay off karma, past karma. Um, we contract with certain people to learn with. Just view, um, view your past, let it go, forgive everyone involved. You did the best job you could and, you know, just forgive and release them because when you do that, you're releasing yourself. Divine Spirit, good morning. Emotional loss. Um, work on your heart chakra. Work on letting go of past grief. I know we've all been through it. Um, I always judge people too good and then I hear their stories and I'm always like, and I know every person here has an amazing story to tell. I'm, I'm not limited in that. So just work on letting go of your past grief from this. Denise Gomez, hi, yes, what is cutting you off from source or the flow? Um, I can always tell when I'm in the flow, it's amazing, it feels great, it's more of a sense of feeling or knowing, um, just check out what is cutting you off. Um, one of the main things that cuts people off from consciousness would be drugs. I'm not really sure, I was asking my twin flame why are some people at such a low level and why are some people at such a higher level of consciousness right now, what could... What could you do to try to get someone at a low level up higher? Um, I don't know. These are things that were questions that we're looking into. But the most, the most popular one that cuts people off is um, drugs. And alcohol has wheat in it. And wheat it should be classified as a drug because it does crazy things to your energy. So um, stay away from things like drug, alcohol, um, tobacco lowers your vibration. Things that lower your vibration, stay away from and work on uplifting your vibration because that will put you right back in the flow. So work on just eating healthier foods. You could exercise, laugh more, live in love, etc. And it will put you back in the flow. I'm all over the place, but Jessica Grasso, yes, no booze, <laughs> especially if you're an empath. Um, it will affect, we will affect empaths in a much different way. Any story that involved alcohol in me in my life was disastrous, and now I understand why. Ali Menez, when I opened my third eye, did I see spirits, ghosts, and how did I deal with that? Um, well, Sparks saw Jesus when he opened his third eye. I didn't have anything profound happen. I personally believe I've had um, my third eye open most of my life, but my other chakras were blocked. So um, when I did have a Kudalini awakening, it, I do what I remember most profound was my crown chakra opening. That would have been the last chakra, and it was like my head exploded with light. Um, so that was the only one I had a really profound what thing with. I've seen energy, um, if you want to refer to ghosts, I've seen um, entities as energy before and things like that. Um, so I can more like tell um, with spirits, I can more feel it than see it um, visually. I'm much more into the unseen and feeling and knowing and things like that. Um, maybe it's just because I'm a Taurus and it's just how I tune in. But I've heard of really crazy, profound experiences. My twin flame, I had God talk to him and had, saw Jesus. I'm more into, I know my third eye is open because um, it feels almost like a spoon on your forehead. Like I've had that described the best way and I can feel it. I can feel it's open. Um, but literally I've had profound, um, more like visions while sleeping or astral traveling. I'm really into lucid dreaming and navigating the dream world and using the dream world to connect with all you guys and continue my healing work. So it really depends, um, but we're going to start to be able to see things, everything that's really around us. I've seen everything that's really around us before and it's more like energy waves or particles and there's stuff all around us all the time that we can't see. We have very limited vision, so we will be able to see all this stuff. Um, humans will be able to fly and do crazy things once we activate all of our DNA. It will become just like the dream realm here. So there's really just going to be amazing things. There's more like mediums, psychics, whatever, empaths, gifted people popping up because everyone um, went through their life with mostly their gifts dormant. 
dormant, yeah. Not to the best of their abilities because we had such a low vibration. But now as we work at raising our vibrations, we'll be able to better access our gifts and access these kind of things. Everyone's going to be psychic and empathic. It's not, not going to be anything special. Um, when you activate 12 strands of DNA, literally, that's psychic medium status. So it's not going to be like anything um, special or unique. Everyone's going to be accessing these kind of things. So we're working on it. Um, I still can't see interdimensionally so good. Um, I work more in a sense of feeling and knowing. But get out there and make big decisions, Allie, literally. You're so successful in everything you're doing, um, and you're doing your mission amazing. You're right where you should be, all of you guys, and you're doing amazing. Remember, we're always right where we should be. Linda Reyes, yes. You are light. Um, I have enough light that I can light up this entire world, and so do each of you. So we have to cultivate our own light, and we have to become more light. That's what I'm working on every day. You can probably see a higher light content in my eyes every day, more of a glow, etc. But we're just working on becoming more light. Um, I don't like the term light worker anymore. <laughs> it's like a joke to me now. But that's really what we are. We're meant to be light workers. Um, I just don't like labels anymore. But you are the light. Um, and what happens when you turn on a light in a dark room? The darkness can't exist. It dissipates. So you are that light. Shine brighter. Don't let anyone dim your light. Aaron Sipatak, you need more sleep. Um, I don't know. I go to bed like clockwork on a nice schedule, take melatonin at night. I sleep amazing. Um, throw some melatonin into your schedules if you guys aren't on it already because it's very good for your third eye. Um, your third eye, serotonin and melatonin regulate it. So if you can add melatonin, it will do amazing things for your third eye. Also coconut oil. Um, if you're interested in helping your third eye, you should eat it raw every day. Um, recognition and reward. And then I, I keep losing where I was for it. Hold on, I have to find out who it was for again. Aaron, sorry. <laughs> recognition and reward. This is really for everyone. I just covered this. You guys are all doing so good. You're right where you should be, and we're all going to end up in the same place. We just have many different paths, many different missions. But believe it or not, we all end up in the same place. So you guys are all doing so good. Like, so good. Just the fact that you're tuning into my video tells me amazing things. Rahan Bahandari. Solar Plexus. <laughs> I always just get the feeling that your name is so hard this life. Because I know your energy is so good, it's so hard for me to say. Work on your solar plexus. This tells me you're very empathic. I already knew that, though. Um, get out into nature. Sea salt baths. We are sponges. Empaths are sponges. You ever, um, I don't know, You. I always try to seek out an empath, too, when I had a really bad day. Um, that's why sometimes I'll message Maddie and be like, oh my god, this is going on. Because literally, we're sponges. We'll just take all that negativity and dissipate it right off of someone. So we're really doing a lot um, uh, on a cellular kind of level. So we have to make sure we get this energy out of our body. So just make sure you're detoxing a lot. Like sea salt baths, more water, water purifies, etc. Frankie Borelli, work on your crown chakra. Um, this is your connection with source. Um, and it's blocked by ego attachment. So um, pray more, literally. Pray more, envision yourself in purple, and work on that connection. Um, and you're doing so good with it. Just really pray more and work on your connection with source. Melatonin hasn't worked much for you in the past. Try a 10, a 10 milligram one. Um, when I took like the 5 milligram one, they don't do anything and they're not very strong. Try to find a 10 milligram one. Um, because they work really good for me. And it might take a little while to load in your system. That's what um, the Sparks' mom said. Oh, it doesn't work. I took it one time. It doesn't work. <laughs> I was like... It might take like a week or two to load in your system. I was on really um, heavy-duty sleeping pills, though. And I will tell you that I'm on melatonin, and they work a lot better than heavy-duty sleeping pills used to. So it might take a little while to re-regulate your body and get you in a nice schedule. I would just try to take them for a while if you can, um, literally. And Jen, you're working on your sacral, literally. Um, so maybe just try to get it in your body more. This is about sexuality and power. How, how appropriate, because the Divine Feminine... Um, I told my Twin Flame last night that this is all the guys' fault because they... 
They, they're paying off karma now for suppressing the divine feminine, for putting us into slavery more so, and taking away our power, and suppressing us. So now, as we rise back up, they're going to have karma to pay for it. <laughs> and it's crazy. So this is what happens when you take the divine feminine out of a society. Look around. Well, we're all um, into science and math and all this great stuff. Well, we might be missing an aspect. It's kind of out of balance. So now we had to kind of insert the divine feminine back into things. Um, you're really working on taking back your power. And sexuality is power. Um, that's why it's put in the Bible or whatever, Bible, that <laughs> sex is so evil and bad. Because if you stop people from having sex, it's stopping um, a certain type of energy from being generated. So just remember there's a lot of power with sexuality that's powerful energy. Um, that energy can heal the entire planet. So just be aware of that. It's going crazy. Green tea. Yes, Amber Hutchinson. I am drinking green tea. Usually I do drink green tea. Um, I was drinking blue stuff for like two weeks. It was awful because um, of my surgery, but I'm back to the tea and excited. Also, Amber, work on unblocking yourself. Work on getting rid of these obstacles. I was told I couldn't do anything, uh, you know, the usual. Um, and now I'm rewiring my brain um, to live in abundance and happiness with my twin flame. So we realize that any obstacles or blocks, we place them on ourselves. So just work on rewiring yourself because you'll be so much happier. Work on unblocking yourself. You have unlimited potential right now. You literally have infinite possibilities for your future. Good. Um, Suzanne, you put coconut oil in your coffee. That's good. Um, I eat it with medication that I take that my twin flame makes for me. And so I eat it every day and I can tell it definitely helps um, my third eye and my journey. It's amazing for your third eye. Suzanne, you have so much wisdom. You have so much um, knowledge locked in your DNA. You have all of the knowledge of your ancestors. And you just have so much knowledge in your DNA that you're tapping into. And it's amazing to watch. Just so amazing. Um, so just keep on working on purifying, letting go of fear, and raising your vibration. All the things that we're working on. And it's happening slowly. We're turning into our higher selves. It just isn't happening overnight, but that's where we're headed. It's going crazy, but I see Alice and McLean Walker. Balance. We're working on balancing all aspects of ourselves. So um, with my life, I'm working on balancing everything perfectly. I'm working on balancing my job, um, my twin flame, my dog, right? Just whatever elements. I work on balance all the time. That's all we're working on. Um, and so that's amazing. Just keep on working on balancing all the aspects of your life a little bit better. I'm trying to get more efficient with my energy. I go to bed at a certain time. I wake up and whatever. I'm just working on more balance. Kristen Weber, good morning. I know I'm all over the place with the cards. The comments are kind of crazy. Victory and success. You are doing so good. I'm seeing um, this second wave of people just going out there and now just taking a storm, taking a hold of things. You're doing so good. Um, you're working so hard. Just keep at it. Um, amazing things are about to happen for you and you're about to get everything that you are manifesting. So just stay high vibe. Um, keep working hard and things are going to shift for you in a major way. TJ York. Yes, of course. You're working on your relationship. <laughs> Work on more awareness. You're just kind of stuck where you're at. Just deal with it. Work on um, your third eye and enhancing your abilities. You're healing every day. Um, and your baby's adorable and you're doing good. So just work on healing, work on more psychic awareness and your third eye. Um, this was a good episode for you. So you should have already heard that you should be eating coconut oil. Um, anyone that's dealing with chemtrails in their area, immediately go get some chlorella. And you should be taking a thousand milligrams of chlorella every day for like two weeks or as, as often as you feel. Detox those metals out of your body. That will help your third eye amazingly. We're seeing so much um, Alzheimer's and dementia and stuff and that's all from aluminum in the brain so if you live like in Colorado right now they're getting sprayed real heavy or certain areas I would definitely do a chlorella detox Paula Gersidi will my kids ever come back to me my mother-in-law put a curse on me she said well she said that I just want to go into that because I've heard of that often 
where people will say they put a curse on you and then you believe it and then you curse yourself. So, um, no, if she'd really put a curse on you, it would have been returned to her threefold and it wouldn't have been good. So don't believe that um, because it can be damaging to believe it. Yes, she will. Um, we go through these separations so that we can appreciate what we have, basically, in a roundabout kind of way. I guess um, a long time ago, people were given paradise on earth, and they were judgmental to each other. They became judgmental, complacent, etc. So we have to go through this process of enlightenment before we can reach peace and unity. So it's just part of the journey. Um, you're doing really good. You're about to see serious financial and material changes in a positive way. So just keep working on your spiritual um, evolution and things will pay off. Stay positive. Stay focused on what you want. Yeah, don't believe the curse. Then you put it, you're, then you just do it to yourself. That's what my Twin Flames mom said too, and she has issues. She said, oh, some witch put a curse on me and I think it ruined my life. Like, she ruined her own life. It wasn't a curse. <laughs> like, probably by believing it, though. I, I read something where you believe it and then you make it happen. It's some kind of witchcraft. Don't even go for it. We're all divinely protected. I have so much white light around me that I feel very bad for anyone who really does um, try to intentionally harm me in any way. I've known that my whole life. So, just if anything, feel bad for her um, because you're very protected and nothing like this could ever phase you. Evelina, ya Evelina, I'm trying to scroll up because I thought it was like love. Evelina, love. You're being tested. We all are about to be tested next week too, so just stay aware of that. This is a school. Earth is a school. So if you want to level up, kind of like that video game, you get tested. So just um, stay pure of heart and a test might look like a homeless person who needs your money, but it could really look like um, you have a really bad day and the universe is trying to gauge your emotional response to things. So stay calm, stay grounded. Michael Serrate. Aw, uh, you're amazing too. I'm drawing amazing people to me. Um, and literally, Michael, you're working on transforming. You're turning from a caterpillar into a butterfly. Or um, I am turning into my higher self. The highest version of myself possible. Um, it's really amazing to watch us all transforming. So just stay pure of heart. You're on the right path. You're doing really good. I know because I'm drawing people to me like a magnet. And I'm going to keep drawing the right people to me with my energy. So it's really amazing. You're on the right path. Bethany Freegans, will your daughter ever sleep throughout the night? Yes, I'm not sure how old she is. She seems kind of like real young. Um, but try giving her like a hot salt bath before bed maybe if she's old enough. I don't know how old she is. Maybe a hot salt bath to kind of relax her and get her to sleep. Um, a lot of really gifted people have night terrors, nightmares, etc. Um, I was one of those people. I think I fell down the stairs and broke my nose when I was like four years old from sleepwalking or whatever. I'm crazy to sleep with now. So I can imagine as a kid, um, she will grow into it. Um, just be careful you're not giving too much energy into it. Maybe try giving her a hot salt bath before bed to put her out a little more soundly. Things like that. Chamomile tea. It depends how old she is though. Um, be careful you're not putting too much concern or energy into it. She's actually very gifted and you should be asking her questions in the morning like what she remembers from the dream realm because she's doing amazing things. I have lots of energy around me. <laughs> I do. Yes, I have, um, we have a strong angelic presence in our house all the time. We have angels that play with our dog and it's really amazing and it's something I can definitely feel and work with all the time. Um, literally you're igniting such a passion um and this i already did ti tara gonzalves gonzalves you're igniting such a passion you literally have an open heart chakra and it's drawing people to you um so do i that's what's drawing you guys to me too i have an open heart chakra and it kind of does something it just ignites a passion in people um basically the best teachers are going to lead by example. I can't help you guys. You have to do this on your own. I'll tell you what my flame told me. I can't help you. I can't solve all your problems or anything like that. You have to do it on your own. Um, but I can lead by example where you guys can like look through my old pictures and see how much I'm changing and I'm changing my life. And you'll be like, wow. And so maybe it will inspire you to change. So we can't lead by helping people correct their problems. We can only really lead by example.
but I'm really drawing tomorrow's leaders to me. Um, people that have a really good start on their ascension. Katie Curry, good morning. Solitude. I know. Try to meditate. Go within. Um, you're really going through your dark night of the soul kind of phase. So meditate. Go within. Spend time alone. Work on more self-love. You're amazing. I wish you guys could all see how amazing I see you guys as. But I see souls. I don't see the ego personality. I see actual souls. So I'm around some really amazing souls. Tap into the essence of who you really are. Go meditate. Jennifer Shumate. No, you should not. Um, re you should always reach out to your twin flame because that might pull them out of their own darkness until you reunite. Um, rejoice and celebrate, though. Um, and but right now is the best time to reach out to someone for relationships. The energy is nice and calm. It's ideal for things like this. Before it gets crazy next week, you might want to reach out now. Rejoice and celebrate. Um, never let go of that fear and just reach out. Like, what's what do you have to be afraid of? Rejection? Well, you're already not with your twin flame right now, literally. So what do you really have to be afraid of? They're going to reject you? You're already rejected. So we, we block ourselves with these unwarranted fears. Just reach out. You have nothing to lose at this point. So, except reunion, right? So it might just work better than you thought. So reach out. Bonnie Roses. Deception and envy. You're waking up to things are not what they seem literally um, at all. The matrix is not what it seems. The people running it do not have your best interest in mind. Um, if you are following um, orders and doing as you told, you probably will end up in big trouble like I did in this matrix. So we have to go back to thinking for ourselves. Um, this is a good time to say it too. Um, anyone who wants to reach me after this, I'm about to get off right now. I will be available for energy work and readings. The URL to our site is above. You can set up anything on our site. Um, my favorite service would be our chakra opening because we remove any energetic blocks as well. And it just really can be liberating. Um, so definitely check out our site. Also, I've been putting a lot of my energy into this um, new world. And then I'm like, I had to think of it. New World United Group on Facebook. Um, you should definitely add it. I'll put a link below. So I've been kind of channeling my energy into different things. I'm going to let you guys go now because I am working on this group and doing a lot of energy work today. Um, but if you need me, I will be around for any kind of work. I'm really bad about getting back to my Facebook messages. Um, I'm going to try to answer a lot of them tomorrow though. So if you do need me, um, if you purchase anything on our site, I get right back to you. So I'm going to let you guys go. Um, let's work on lifting this planet's vibration with love. That's how we do this. This is how we win is love. More love. So work on loving um, those around you more and sending you guys lots of love. Namaste.